Hi, everybody, and welcome to this introduction to the Ultimate Affiliate Program. As uh, we know, all of, of America's major companies basically have some sort of affiliate program, starting with our largest retailer, Walmart, then Kmart, Haynes. Take a look at these, Barnes & Noble, eBay, Saks, Ticketmaster, Best Buy, and on and on and on, including Apple and Microsoft. Uh, we have a unique, and that's why I call it the ultimate affiliate program, is it's different in a lot of ways. The first one is that people simply download our app to their phone, and when they do that, each month the app is on their phone. Our company donates to feedingamerica.org. I highly recommend you go check that out, and the purpose is to provide funding for five meals for hungry people. No one ever has to do anything more than download the app and, and keep it on their phone. There will be things that can be done, some optional activities that may be helpful uh, for you, but you never have to do more than that. Important to know. The app is free forever. Nobody's ever going to ask you to pay anything. And also, they won't even ask you for your credit or debit card information. So that's an important thing to know. No money changes hands from that direction. Uh, in addition to providing five meals, however, to feed the hungry, we do have a very profitable compensation plan for those who simply refer others. It's a unilevel comp plan that pays through up to four levels. On level one, we're paid $1 for each member that we bring on board, each associate for each month that it's actually installed on their phone. And on level two, uh, the pay is $1 for each month the app is installed on, installed on the phone. And when a participant such as you or me is referred 10 people on their first level, then they open up the pay for levels three and four and three and four pay 50 cents per month for each month the app is installed on the phone. So the question is, how many people do you know who could get 10 other people to participate in feeding the hungry and also making a couple of dollars? Well, maybe more than a couple. So how many of those people do you want on your front line? A lot, I guess, like me. And here's a big question, ladies and gentlemen, how many organizations and people will you help? That's an important question, and it leads to the one also, how much money do you want to make? Stacking in this program is an extreme disadvantage because, as you'll see, you're literally pushing the bigger money away from you when you do that. So build wide, encourage your team to build wide. And let's take a moment here and look at a conservative or some conservative earnings examples. And remember, anytime we talk about money, no earnings are guaranteed. It's going to be up to you based on your skill set, uh, the level of influence you have, and the time and energy that you put into it. Luckily, it's probably the only program most, if not all of us, have ever seen where there is a significant income possible without investing a single penny. So let's look at this program, and, and let's say you get your 10 directs, so you open up all the levels, and, and you make $1 each on those, so that's 10 a month. They get 10. You now make $100 a month. All of those get 10. That's 500 a month. Uh, that's a car payment, $610, but the, the significant money is on level four. Uh, that's $5,000 a month, creating a total income of $5,610 a month. Now, we know no matrix ever will be perfected, absolutely. However, uh, because you're able to bring in as many people as you want, that doesn't uh, really affect this program a lot. If you, like I and many other people on this call and other calls I've been on, intend to, over time, sponsor 100 people on our first level who simply get 10 through four levels, uh, that would mean we'd earn $56,000 a month. Uh, and remember, like you and me, and uh, as I said, many other people on the call, there are some of them, if not many, who will decide they'd like to get 20, 30, 100 or even more. So the sky is the limit. Here's a big, big question that I've been asked over and over, and that is why on 
earth would anybody pay all this money uh, for someone simply having an app on their phone? Well, the answer is obviously data. We know all the time we hear about it. Data is being collected on where we go and what we do with our phone. There is a way to avoid that. Uh, and that is just to, to unhook completely from the digital world. Otherwise, we are providing data. And I hope you'll note, uh, go Google this interesting fact that I searched today. 52% of internet traffic is currently on a smartphone and 80, fully 80% 80 is on a mobile device. That's pretty wild. And that number is literally growing day by day. Uh, so every day, everywhere we go, all the time, every app on our phone currently is collecting anonymous. That's an important word. Our data collection is also anonymous. And they're collecting data about where our phone is going. Now, think about it. Uh, why would they want that data? Because what they want to know is, let's say McDonald's is running a big special. Well, people want to know how effective that is that may be competitors and they can tell that by the amount of traffic that goes to that McDonald's. And that's just one example. It could be any uh, of the major retailers, uh, but what they're doing is they're selling it. They're selling it. Like I said, to major companies like McDonald's, Lowe's, you name it. And also selling it to marketing companies who in turn sell it to somebody else. This is an important thing to be aware of. This data can be sold to hundreds of companies. It's not like that email list that many of us have bought over time uh, where we want to be the only ones that have it. This is quite different because that data has a value that's different for each company. They have their reasons and, and good on them because uh, that'll help us make money. Uh, this is a chance for the first time I'm aware of for the person providing the data to get a piece of the action. And we're talking about you, me, and all the people and organizations such as charitable organizations that we bring to the table. Now, our mission is very simple. We have a mission statement, and that is we want to do well by doing good. We will do well by doing good. And feeding the hungry is only I'll say it again, feeding the hungry is only the beginning. Let's take a, a look at what I'm talking about because we can do so much more. Let's think about fundraisers for churches, schools, PTAs, booster clubs, athletic associations, Lions clubs, Elks, chambers of commerce. You think of it, uh, just take a, a couple of seconds and your mind will start racing to all the organization that you know about that are always in need of money and how you can help them through this program. What we will also do, and, and we talk about what's going to happen to the people that we share this opportunity with, we're going to save some homes, people in distress, save some marriages. We know money is the number one thing on the planet. We're going to create some entrepreneurs, get them out of that J-O-B, the just over broke we know about. We're going to help some people avoid bankruptcies, provide financial security, enhance lifestyles. And many of you probably have heard about this, but we are literally through this program going to change some zip codes for people. That's a powerful thought. No business or opportunity that I've ever seen uh, had a way to avoid this analysis, which is the risk reward ratio. So let's think for a minute about how this works. First of all, there is no financial risk. You will never pay a penny, nor will anybody you bring into the program. So there is no financial barrier to participate. And again, we will do well by doing good. And everybody that's been involved in any type of organization similar to this or remotely similar to this have probably heard this expression. Some will, some won't, so what? And it's talking about the necessity to simply make people aware of it and let the chips fall where they may. And of course, that is followed by next. And for the first time, I've shared this with many, many people already. And for the first time, each of them agreed that there will be such an appetite for this program 
that you can truly say some will, some won't, so what next. So how about the bottom line on this? The bottom line actually has two lines. First, nobody can get hurt and all you can do is good. There's no way to harm anybody with this. Again, all you can do is good. So that's why I describe this as the perfect combination of opportunity, both to make money and to do well by doing good. I will humbly ask you to get back with the person that shared this information with you and take a, uh, a moment to ask any questions you may have. This is uh, pretty straightforward. Watch it back all you want to. And uh, I look forward to talking to you on the next call. May the good Lord bless you and keep you.